Did you know in Daredevil, Ben Affleck had such a terrible time playing Daredevil that he actually said that he never wanted to play a superhero again. He was essentially blind thanks to the thick contact lenses he wore which blocked out most of his vision, and on top of that, the costume was apparently uncomfortable to wear. He called it a source of humiliation. Of course, we all know that he went against this previous statement when he starred as Batman in Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice in 2016. Did you know in Deadpool 2, Ryan Reynolds actually handpicked multiple actors for specific tailor-made roles. First, Ryan personally offered Rob Delaney the role of Peter after seeing him play in Catastrophe. Aside from Rob, Ryan also chose Julian Dennison for Fire Fist. It was actually a tailor-made role for him after Ryan and the crew saw him act in Hunt for the Wilder People. Did you know in Thor The Dark World, Natalie Portman had to keep reshooting the scene where she slaps Chris Hensworth. At around 26 minutes into the movie, there's a scene where Jane has to slap Thor, and Natalie started out by fake slapping him to keep from hurting him. After around 30 different takes, she ended up slapping him for real. Later on, at about 1 hour and 2 minutes, Jane has to punch Loki, and Natalie actually went ahead and punched him with full contact. This scene only took about 5 takes. Did you know in The Incredible Hulk? There's an easter egg in the Blu-ray release of the movie that was cut from the original cut. Throughout the film, there are many ties to Captain America and Tony Stark, but Captain America is technically in this release. When the last piece of ice breaks up toward the screen in the beginning, you can pause the movie, and Captain America can actually be seen in the ice with his shield. Did you know in Top Gun Maverick? Tom Cruise is one of the main reasons that everything feels so realistic. He insisted that there be minimal green screen and CGI shots, and the close-up cockpit scenes were actually taken during real in-flight sequences. Thanks to this, a lot of the cast had to go through extensive G-Force training sessions. The actors that play pilots actually had to film themselves, adjust their lighting and sound, and even touch up their own makeup. The director waited on the ground for hours to get the footage, and they would make adjustments on the ground before sending actors back up.